We are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We've been traveling full-time since June 2020. In this series, we are traveling from Florida to Oregon to pick up our new travel trailer. We left New Jersey in mid-June and headed west. We decided to drive about 500 miles the first day, spend the night, and then travel another 500 miles and spend three nights to rest up and see the sights in the area. We did this twice and then had two short travel days to reach Pendleton, Oregon. Our first stop was in Grove City, Ohio, where we spent one night. We did not do any sightseeing, but enjoyed the beautiful drive. Our first three-day stay was in Elsa, Illinois. We traveled along the Great River Road, along the Mississippi River, to get to this location. Elsa is a historic village established in 1853 and was a charming place. We rented an historic apartment through Airbnb called Sweet Jane. Elsa is a very cute village with shopping, a nice place to hike and relax. Elsa is home to Principia College, a small liberal arts college with a Christian science-based education. We took a driving tour of the college. It was very quiet while we were there. I love visiting colleges and universities when we travel because I worked for two universities in Florida most of my career. We visited Grafton, which is just west of Elsa, on the Great River Road. This is also a great little town that is home to Marquette State Park. It has chairlift rides, a zip line, restaurants, and much more. Another day, we took a drive to St. Louis, Missouri, because it was so close, and visited Gateway Arch National Park. It was a beautiful, well-manicured park. The arch was impressive, and we loved walking around. The tour to the top of the arch was all booked, so we were not able to get tickets, but I would really like to do this next time around. According to the website, the Gateway Arch reflects St. Louis's role in the western expansion of the United States during the 19th century. The park is a memorial to Thomas Jefferson's role in opening the West, to the pioneers who helped shape its history, and to Dred Scott who sued for his freedom in the old courthouse. The park is located on the Mississippi River, and the arch is 630 feet tall and 630 feet from leg to leg and it was built from 1963 to 1965. Our next stop was Hayes, Kansas. It was a one-nighter, and we ate dinner and rested after the 500-plus mile day. Colorado was beautiful. There was still snow in the mountains as we drove toward our hotel. It was so nice to see the mountains, enjoy the cool, clean air, and the rivers along the drive. We spent three nights in the Denver area and enjoyed shopping, resting, and doing laundry. We did leave Denver for a day trip. We were feeling a bit achy from all the driving and found a hot spring in the area. The drive was beautiful through the mountains as we traveled to Indian River Hot Springs. Hot Springs felt so wonderful after riding the car, riding in the car for days. We highly recommend this if you're in the area. We spent one night in Utah before arriving in Oregon, our final destination. Our first stop in Oregon was Pendleton and visiting Thompson RV to check on the status of our new travel trailer.
We enjoyed talking with Coran and seeing the dealership. We learned that our trailer was not going to be ready until mid-July. We were a bit disappointed that it was not going to be ready early, but were glad it was still on target for our original delivery date of mid-July. Corinne gave us lots of information about the area and we decided to spend the next month touring Oregon. Our first stop was Hillsboro, Oregon. This is a city just outside of Portland. We stayed in the Aloft Hotel, which was very nice. We arrived just in time for the heat wave with temperatures over 100 degrees most days. Many of the local residents did not have air conditioning in their homes and some checked into the hotel for a few days. I overheard the desk clerk talking and she said that this was the first time the hotel was totally booked. We managed the heat by staying inside in the AC, walking early in the day, and venturing out to the mountains hiking, and we also took a trip over to the coast. Say something, Rhonda. It's a beautiful waterfall. So I'm glad to be here today. It's actually cool here on this trail, not 112 degrees. In western Oregon, yep. where the temperature is supposed to get up to 112 degrees mm -hmm. today. We ventured over to the coast of Oregon to Ecola State Park to escape the heat. It was very crowded because everyone else was getting out of the city to escape the heat also. The road to the park was narrow and winded its way up through the mountain. We hiked this wonderful trail up through the mist and tall trees to get to Indian Beach. It was a wonderful, cool day. We stopped at the Elderberry Inn on the way back to Hillsboro for a delicious meal after the hike. After leaving Hillsboro, we traveled to the Dalles. We rented a beautiful upstairs apartment through Airbnb for two weeks. We loved our time in the Dalles, even though we were still in the heat wave, and the wind was so strong at times it was difficult to be outdoors. There were fires in the area and smoke rolled in from time to time also. The town felt very comfortable to us. We were there during the 4th of July and enjoyed walking around and sampling the beer and restaurants. There is a riverfront walk in the city, and we took advantage of this trail many days. It was hot, in full sun, and some parts were in an industrial area. Joe was excited to see the Google building along the trail. Most of it was along the Columbia River Gorge, and it had very scenic and beautiful views. One of the things that was a bit different for us in the area was the many trains that we saw throughout the area carrying cargo. There was one running constantly, pretty much all the time there was a train moving through the area. We watched the 4th of July parade and later that evening we were able to sit on the rooftop of our apartment building and enjoy the fireworks. Cirrhosis Park is very nice in the city. We set out one day and walked to the park. It ended up being up a hill all the way. We really enjoyed the views once we got to the top of the park. We took the local advice and sought cooler temperatures and higher elevations. We visited 
Tamanawas Falls. The trails were moderate, the temperature was cool, and the waterfalls were stunning. Another day, we set out to visit a replica of Stonehenge and Mary Hill Museum. This was another gorgeous hot day. This replica was built for the local people that died in World War I. We toured the outside of Mary Hill and the grounds and artwork were fun to look at. It wouldn't be a trip to Oregon if you didn't visit Mount Hood. So on this trail, we drove up to Mount Hood, and this is a trail that leads down to another waterfall. It's very pretty in here. It's a nice cool day, not too hot. A few bugs out, but nothing's attacked us yet. Our final stay, without the travel trailer, in Oregon, was Baker City. This was a very nice small town. We rented a small house from Airbnb called the Cowboy Cottage. It was an older home, but very clean. The town had a nice river running through it and a nice walking trail. There was fun artwork throughout the streets. We enjoyed a nice craft show and rodeo and parade while we were there. Too far outside of Baker City was the National Historic Oregon Trail Interpretive Center. The building was closed, but the trail was open, so we decided to take a hike. It was beautiful, and we loved the covered wagons. It was probably not our smartest move because it was over 100 degrees that day, and the trail was in full sun. This is the end of this series because we got a call from Thompson RV that our travel trailer is ready to be picked up. Woohoo! We're so excited to share our new home with you in the next video. It feels so good to have a place to call home once again. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.